So we are at a Jewish temple in West Point, New York, um, at the U.S. Military Academy. Um, one of my coworkers and friends invited us to a Passover Seder, um, and we're going to learn about that tonight. I've never been to one. Um, so we are at the Jewish temple now, and we'll show you around, and then we'll get him to say a little bit about what's going on, and we're going to have the dinner, and... Learn some new stuff. <laughs> yeah, jungle. Uh, apna jungle the jungle first experience. I mean, the Jewish community le. Then, our end the case. I mean, all of me. I know there any kind of experience. All of my kind of experience. All of so, uh, it's going to be fun. So we are here with Haim and Ellie, and they are the host of the dinner tonight. And we're going to let them tell us a little bit, bit about the tradition and. What, what, what you we guys expect tonight? Yeah, what are you guys doing today? Like, what is it? So tonight is Passover, and we're going to have a traditional, non-traditional uh, Jewish Pesach seder. Um, and half of our guests are Jewish, and half of them aren't. We have a party going on tonight, and we're very excited. It's good. It looks like we already see the regiments and stuff. It's so much. It's so neat. Yeah, it's um, very nice. It's very, very nice. Thank job. you. Thank you. <laughs> We're excited about it. I am. Yeah, we are. It is, as Ellie said, a non-traditional yeah. and kind of uh, somewhat formal, semi-formal. And we're excited to have all our guests here. And um, it's going to be a long night. I asked everyone to come um, hungry because Ellie spent uh, a good <laughs> part of the last two weeks prepping all this. And um, it's going to be a nice night having so, friends and family together. And yes. this is the meal that represents the exodus of uh, the ancient Israelites okay. from Egypt, uh, okay. by, led by Moses. Great. So we get to enjoy some Jewish food. Jews, Jewish, uh, um, most military installations do not have a Jewish temple. Okay. West Point is, I think, the only military base that has a dedicated temple. I may be wrong about that, but most of them are like kind of basing or just using space that doesn't belong to the Jewish chapel, like the multicultural or Catholic uh, church, like a, a room in the back. Because there usually aren't that many Jews. But in any case, at one point, they used to carry this around. And this is where they carry the Torah scrolls. You need to have Torah scrolls in order to pray. So these are like handmade scrolls that are on parchment paper. The ink is like an ancient recipe that has, goes back thousands of years. Like it doesn't fade. Whatever they do, they cook it up themselves. And that's part of being a scribe. They work, write it with quill and pen on animal hide. Okay, that's treated. And that is what I want to show you, is the actual animal hide. So in order to have a synagogue, you need to have this. It's called an Aaron Kodesh, like the uh, uh, structure of uh, holiness. And that has the five books of Moses. Every Torah has five books of Moses written in the same script. Every one has to be the same. And you have to check your Torah. So there are very old Torah scrolls, and the scribe checks it and says, There's a smudge. You can't read from it until you fix this much, and you have to check it every so many years. I forgot, I learned it as a girl in school, but every three to seven years, yeah. something like that, you have to check the Torah scroll. So they used to carry this around Man, yeah. with their Torah scrolls. So there is an inscription there, and the one that reads mm -hmm. from this, and they sing song, different congregations, different backgrounds, have a little bit of a different melody. What is that called? But this is a yad, this is a hand, because you're not allowed to touch yeah. the holy name of God written in there. You, you're pointing. It's like a sign of reverence.
If you've ever been to a Seder, leave your expectations at the door because this is nothing you've experienced before. And if you haven't been to a Seder, um, take in the experience because it's going to be a wonderful night. I'm here across all different experiences in life, all different backgrounds, and we've all had different struggles. And we're going to tell the story which is Yitzhak Mitzrayim, the Exodus from Egypt. And I like how, how I wrote this out. All of our lives have been shaped in some way by this biblical story of the Exodus of Egypt. Because it is central to the legacy embraced by all Jews, Christians, and Muslims. It's a Judeo-Christian story. And this has shaped our world and our how we live as humans and how we envision our lives. Um, so this biblical story, the Exodus of Egypt, whether you call him Moses or Musa or Moshe Rabbeinu, however we call his name, he is the Savior, the humble, the servant of God. It is perfect that we experience the same together for the story we speak of tonight has given hope to those in bondage, whatever form that bondage may take, bringing generations across time and cultures worldwide. We have to observe, we have to learn to remember. Um, I think it's a beautiful thing to remember all of our blessings and uh, guard, guard what we feel special, what is special to us. So on the menu, we got at least at the minimum, four, four glasses of wine. We dip the veggies in salt water. We have an abundance of matzah, horseradish and romaine lettuce dipped in karosa. And after all that, the festive meal. Now, the mar, the bitter herb, symbolizes the bitterness of the Egyptian slavery. The karosa is the mixture. Is, uh, the, the mixture is symbolic of the mortar used by Hebrews, Hebrew slaves, to build Egyptian structures. The karpas, which is the parsley, is dipped in salt water, ser salt water, serving as a reminder of the tears shed during Egyptian slavery. And of course, the chazeret, which is going to be the lettuce, use the tradition together with the mar, which is the bitter herb. I know I gave you a really full cup. It's because we give full cups. Give as much. And this represents the mortar. When they pound it, you want to however you create mortar for bricks in the ancient times, I think with your feet, it would stand in a, in a, in a, in a pit and, and, and knead the mortar there. I agree. Blood of the of the lamb 
was painted on the doorpost, which um, was a sign that in that home was a Jewish home, not an Egyptian home. So when the devil or Satan or the angel of death came through to kill the firstborn, they would pass over. That's where the term Passover comes from. So what we're going to do is we're going to spill. You can either spill a thing with your pinky. Traditionally, some people do. Yeah, everybody does something different. But we spit a little bit from the wine that we drink into the bowl so that none of those plates can touch us, right? So, Dom, Sardea, Kini, Aron, Denver, Shin, Barad, Arben, I think this is actually a beautiful tradition, the spilling of the wine, which is uh, I, what I feel, my, my, the personal meaning that I gain from this is that um, you don't harbor resentment. And the tradition is that this wine that was spilled is not poison. You shouldn't drink it. Because this is your resentment. This is your resentment, and resentment will poison you. Even though there must have been some resentment. So we have lettuce. Everyone should have lettuce on their table. And we'll pour some horseradish. Now, one thing we didn't get was some uh, peanuts because the horseradish didn't quite get to the tail. I'm good. I'm good. And we all cried. So no shame in the game to let a few tears. And some of us like to indulge ourselves because some of us believe that the more the tears you shed, Symbolizes the tears that were shed years ago. Let's so, go. Let it all go. So, the goal of demonstration. We're going to demonstrate how we do the war. The bitter part is how we eat it. Uh, traditionally, so we take the lettuce and we take the white bitter herb and we put some of the horseradish inside of the lettuce. Right? Just like that. That's part two. So, part three would be this common set, which is according to the top of the post loop. Remove a certain poison from the horseradish. So we take some of the haroset, which is representative of the mortar, and then we dip the bitter herb into, into the haroset, and then we say baruch, atav, adonai, eloheinu, melech, adonai, asher, kitishanu, bebitzvotah, bebitzivan, al, Ahila, Amen. 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 You didn't put it Amen. <laughs> I know this guy. Uh, <laughs> I need to try, but pretty good though. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of that, darling. It's gonna, you're gonna burn up. This is for you. Good. You just take your bath. Big bag. So this is this is a traditional. Um, Jewish. Jewish fish. Salmon and this is I know like they explain like what this is, but <laughs> this is made out of fish, that's all we know. Noble fish. Yeah. It's, and uh, egg and matzo powder. So and they make it to last longer than yeah. she's in like three days at fish. least. No, that's for the, the other one. The other one? Okay. Now, we have a spice. That's why it's a mix. It's a Jewish 
അവരുടെ ട്രഡീഷണലായിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ഫുഡ് ആയത് നമ്മൾ ഫ്രൈ ചെയ്യാൻ പോവുക ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഈസ് സം കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ജൂയിഷ് സൂപ്പ് ഐ ഡോ നോ ഹൗ ടു സേ മാഗ്സ് കൺ സേ മാക്സ് ബോസ് so with this tradition they have to drink a glass of wine with every time when they go it so i had like just one uh, i had like two glasses now i'm already feel like drunk so i have four four glasses and there is two more left so we'll see how it goes so this is a soup um so this has eggs in it and meatballs i'm just going to try to see how it is It tastes pretty good. It's um I'll try the meatball and see how what kind of meat is this down here. It's from matzo. Matzo, what is that? It's that. <laughs> the bread. Oh, it's not meat. Oh. You don't give me yet. Okay, so this is not meat. This is just made out of bread. It's fake meatballs. Bread. Matzo dumpling. It's good. So guys we had a great time here uh, with the Jewish community um, and their traditions and I like it so sleepy and I'm so sleepy and Maggie's so sleepy <laughs> It's almost it's, midnight <laughs> Yeah it's like uh, 12 o'clock almost Yeah we got here at 6 and, and it's almost 12 And it took 2 hours for them to make the whole stuff Yes they <laughs> food is good they Lots of food Yeah a lot of foods and drinks and everything Yeah so it's we had good. a really good time Thank you for having us Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. We really enjoyed the enjoyed the evening. Right. Slow Mac and family. Say goodbye. Bye. Pinna kaanam. Okay guys, namukana ini pinna kaanam.